what's up guys and welcome back to another video in today's video I thought I'd show you my mobile mechanic setup um, now I never did show you what I traded my truck for and I said I'd make a video about it so this is gonna be the video um, so the vehicle I'm using now keep in mind it is a lot smaller the reason I did it is because I can lock my tools in my vehicle at night and that makes it a lot easier trust me when you're working late at night and you get home and you have to unload your whole bed of your pickup truck because your jack stands and your jack and everything you can't fit in the truck is back there and you can't leave it out at night so you spend a good 30 minutes just doing that this makes it worth it for me not to mention this has a four cylinder engine it's a lot cheaper on gas cheap on insurance so and it was an even trade so I owe nothing on this vehicle so believe me when you see it you might think oh I don't know about that but trust me it made way better sense financially and trying to grow business so so here she is Alright, so I just want to show y'all the inside. This is the front, of course, but, you know, I, I keep it, I try to keep it clean. You know, uh, I try to keep the passenger seat open. So if I have a client who needs a lift, either to their house or to work, while I work on their car, then I'm able to uh, supply that. So I can use this as not only my mobile vehicle, but it's also a shuttle vehicle as well. Um... And you know everything's nice and clean. You don't want it, you want it clean and smelling good. You know you don't want to pull up at somebody's house and stuffs everywhere and you know because then you look unprofessional. So that's the front. Let's get to the back. Okay, so back here we have our AC gauges hanging up here. All of our fluids neatly put away in the crates and I got my case of brake cleaner there uh, that's like electrical stuff rivet guns and rivets I have a bigger rivet gun in the toolbox this is my creeper usually I pull this out as soon as that's you just use the first thing I take out and I usually use all the time um, my cones sometimes I need them sometimes I don't use them um, and you know there's some things that ain't in here like the oil drain container when I do oil changes. Um, if I know I have an oil change and like say I'm not going to use my cones and I usually leave my cones here and I'll put my oil drain bucket here. You know just switch things out. You know I plan my day accordingly. You know usually what I need in here for that day is what goes with, goes with me and the rest gets put away in my uh you know I leave home so uh, I got a step ladder here for when I'm working on higher trucks um, my jump box you know pry bars long screwdrivers there this is my pack of zip ties a brand new pack of gloves um, pretty simple you know I used utilize a cup holder to hold my PB blaster spray you know so that works out well um, before I show you the back, I'll bring it to the other side over here. We have, uh, so this bucket I use as like a garbage can, and that works out great. Uh, I have my jack stands, my floor jack, you can't see it, but the handle for the floor jack is slid in back there. Uh, table, fold-out table I use for a workbench. And let's just go to the back door. 
this is where I have my toolbox. So what I did is I built a wooden like uh, platform, if you will. It's really solid, and I bolted that to the car. And then I have this toolbox bolted to this. And this is actually like the factory mat that went underneath that before I put this here. And that worked out great just to kind of hide here. And if you flip this over, I have my scan tool, my extension cord, my, this is like my bit driver kit for my screw gun, voltmeter, amp meter. Um, this works awesome for checking like batteries and alternators. So I have one of those. And, uh, you know, that's my fold out table I showed you. And then there's my box. I have my ramps here. Under here, that's where I keep my pliers and random stuff. Um, I got my oil change stickers, pins, picks, things here. Uh, my hammers. And, uh, I got another light here and you know this is just to give you an example if you're trying to start out as a mobile mechanic you don't really need a whole shop you know I mean I got some wrenches you know some my sockets different oil filter wrenches things like that I mean just having these these tools my screwdrivers are up here you know just having these tools alone and it's not a lot of tools I mean it's probably a little more than your basic set of tools but um, with all these tools alone I'm able to run my whole business and complete every job I have to so and I've been a mechanic 20 years uh, working in shops and this is probably all I've used when I was working in shops too so I have uh, flashlights too there's a flashlight here one here I have my cordless impact guns on a rack here. Uh, it's just a rack I bought from Harbor Freight that I clipped onto here. And it works out perfect. They don't move. I have uh, like a safety shield mask down there along with some knee pads. Because I, I do have like a cutting tool. If I got to ever cut something, it works great for that. Um, this thing here is from my paper towel holder um, I clip it here so I tell you what I'm going to put you down for a second and I'm going to set this up the way I set it up when I'm at a client's house just so you can see kind of see like see my setup in work mode so check this out Alright guys, so this is pretty much it. Um, like I said, I use that for like a workbench area. I got my paper towels hanging right here. So I can just like yank them as I need them. Uh, I got my garbage can down there. So, yeah, with the exception of, you know, tools being out and, you know, parts being on here I'm working on. But that's pretty much it. A lot of times I'm in here and I'll have that. I'll just leave that open so I can get in there and grab what I need. Um, you know, having this toolbox by this back door and then this bench right here makes things really uh, convenient for me. And, uh, you know, I usually have this creeper out of here. So if I need to grab supplies or something, I can just come and reach in, grab what I need. You know, the other, the other real positive thing about this little car is it's so easy to park. Nine out of ten times I can park this little car right where I need it, right next to the car I'm working on. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, so I'm able to have all my supplies and my tools and everything right uh, right by me. I think that's going to be it, guys. I mean, I, I don't really know what else to talk about. It's a simple setup. If you're considering being a mobile mechanic and doing your own thing, you just start with what you have. Uh, when I first started this, I had a little uh, Chevy Cobalt I was working out of, and I ripped the back seat out of, 
uh, and then from there I had I started using my truck once I went full time and then realized I really just got tired of loading and unloading the bed of my truck every night so I really wanted like a like a Ford Transit uh, connect van or something but at the time the prices were just way out of my budget I came across this because uh, a friend of mine owns a car lot and I was doing some work on it and he agreed to just do an even trade with me that's the only reason it was in my budget because it didn't cost me anything you know so that's why it worked out that's why I decided to go with this I don't know if you know should you, do you call us a car do you call us a truck um, maybe we'll just call it a cube you know I, I don't know uh, let me know in comments what you think about this though but I mean this this works and basically you know if, if you're thinking about doing this and taking a risk you can do the same thing just you gotta be creative with what you got start with what you have you know uh, next year I do plan on getting like a, a, a Ford transit connect van but we'll see you know but um so anyway guys thanks for uh thanks for watching this video uh make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in comments you know what you think about this and um i think that's gonna wrap this up so i'll see you next time